Okay, folks, uh, third video here, uh, start doing some uh, demonstration of some methods for um, as the engagement progresses and you're approaching, let's just assume we're submerged in this. Again, I'm in the tutorial, but uh, I'm going to stay on the surface here just for, for a demonstration of the use of the disk and for ease. But let's just say we are... Uh, we are um, submerged and we're just creeping toward a target now. We want to do some double checks, okay, on speed. So the first one is the fixed wire method. That's you are able to do that with the with the um, with the speed side of the attack disc. So um, so we're creeping along here at just a few knots. Say we're underwater. Uh, those are familiar with the um, speed side of the disc. You've got um, Graphics a little, look a little wonky there, but that's okay. You've got the um, fixed wire method, so when the bow crosses, we start the timer. A little late on that, and we time the time it takes for the target to cross the wire, and we do a little division. And once we've done that division, we uh, can derive the speed. Again, speed being a rate, so our reference line is going to show that. So we know that the target, we've identified the target, and we know its length is 150 meters. Okay, so we're getting there here. Right, so then... Right, da -da 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 -da, almost there, almost there. Alright, so then we've got... There, alright, so 44 seconds. Uh, I'm just going to turn here so that we can kind of gain position again here. Um, so 44 seconds at 150, so I go to the attack disk and I say, um, I say uh, 100, 150, which is here, 150 over 44 seconds, and now we use this, uh, this inner second style here, so 44 is about right there. Okay, right there. Reference line is 6.5 to 6.6. And if we look at the actual speed, there you go, it's 6.5. So that's how you do the fixed wire method is you you divide length, which is here, again using using the decimal, move the decimal just like I explained in the other videos, over um, over the time it took, okay? And then using all this always points to a rate, so that points to speed. So again, about 6.5 knots. So that is the method of fixed wire. Okay. Um, oh, I don't want to be turning that much now. Uh, the other, the other method here. I'm gonna go dead slow, just to pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, the other method that I want to dis uh, a couple more methods here on as far as speed checks are concerned. Another good method to use, and I explain this in my other tutorials or my other uh, uh, d demonstration videos, is to um, to derive a um, th the target speed based on a constant bearing. So uh, say say we're submerged, uh, and this this a lot of times is a is a backup method, uh, assuming you didn't. Uh, I'll be quiet here. Assuming you didn't uh, get good values from plotting on the surface, um, this method is a good way to um, to get a uh, to get a speed in a pinch, if you will. So it takes a little doing. You have to excuse my the graphics are getting wonky here because this OBS bogs my system down a little bit. But um, and I you've seen me do this in other videos. Um, you wait, you wait until your speed stabilizes, okay, and then you watch. So speed stabilizes about 7.2 knots. You watch the uh, the bearing change, and you adjust course and speed such that the bearing stops changing. So the bearing is barely changing at this speed, okay, just barely. So I can turn two just ever so slightly. And see what that does. And basically, the point is, I'm just trying to achieve a constant bearing. And I can also just even go. I can even go um, ten slower. See what that does. It's going to bring me down about six knots. Uh, 
and the point is now is we're getting at constant bearing. It's just a little time consuming, but um, yeah, see, and that's a little too much even. So we'll go back to dead slow, and we'll turn just in just a little more. So we got that there. Things can get back up to about 7.2 knots. So the the formula for this, and I didn't I didn't uh, demonstrate the fixed wire formula, but the fixed wire formula is uh, just to show you what that is. That is um, target length divided by seconds uh, times 1.94. That's what you're doing when you're doing fixed wire. So we do just do the, the 1.94 is is as a conversion uh, to knots, but you don't need that in this with the speed disk. All you're doing is doing length over seconds. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see what we got here now. That's pretty close. And even for argument's sake, we could just say that that's the constant bearing right there. Uh, it's it's pretty close. So it's just for argument's sake, let's say that's the constant bearing. So so let's say right here. Okay. So. So the first first thing we need to do is we need to note our own speed, okay? We note our own speed to the decimal. And we've gone through this in other ones too, 7.2. Now the formula for this is own speed times the sine of the bearing divided by the sine of the angle on bow. Okay? This so we got, again, we've got multiplication and division. So what do we do? We take the division first and we set the division in the, spe in the, in the, in the disk first. We take own speed, set it against angle on bow. So 7.2, which is here, set it against um, the angle on bow, which we will have estimated this by now, but let's say uh, we know what it is, okay, and it's 87 degrees. Let's say we've, that's, we've, we would have had to estimate that or, or calculate it. Um, uh, so we take, we align 7.2, which is here, uh, with 87, which is practically 90, right here, okay, right there, all right, and then at, um, at the bearing, so that's the division part, that's this part here, that's taking own speed divided by angle on bow, okay, and now to do the multiplication, all we do is we read over to the to the bearing, which the bearing in this case is, um, it was like 70, I think, or something like that, so let's go take a look and see, that's not exactly right, but okay, um, it was, uh, say, 68, okay, 68, 68, Sixty-eight. So at sixty-eight, I just use this for reference. Sixty-eight is the target's is the target speed. Okay, six point five, six point six, six point seven. It's a little off because we didn't we didn't get a true true constant bearing. You can see the bearing is moving backwards a little bit, but you know for for argument's sake, um, it, that's pre that's that's pretty close. It's close enough. Okay, so um, had we gotten our, our, our bearing uh, a little less, you can see, like this, you know, as we, we would have turned toward him to express the bearing change a little more, it would have been closer to 6.5. So that there you, there you go for that one, okay? So, oh my god, this is looking terrible now. Oof. Yeah, this OBS Studio, I tell you what, it really causes problems on my, uh, on my system. Um, so that, that is the, um, speed by constant bearing method okay so next next to demonstrate is holy moly hold on here bear with me here bear with me uh, next to demonstrate is the um, uh, we'll do speed by changing bearing which is slightly different Oof. excuse me on that one Oof. that was terrible this is the wheels are falling off this, of the U-boat here at a rapid rate. Okay, so um, I just have to keep resetting this with the in the map. Oh, that might not work. Okay, well, bear with me here. This is 
This is getting getting a little wonky. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. So, so if I want to do the next method, which is speed by a change in bearing, okay, it's it's it works somewhat along the same principles. However, um, you've got a you've got a, an, a situation where the bearing is changing. So, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, we'll do ten slower. We're going to really pretend like we are. Um, we'll even go ten slower again. To even pretend like we're um, we're approaching a target here, and getting ready to shoot it um, underwater. Okay, so um, so there's a few things of a few pieces of information you need for this particular method. One of which is uh, you need a range, you need an angle on bow, and you need two bearings, and you need to time the bearings. Um, and, and and honestly, with this disc, you need. The, with, if you want to do the calculation using this disc here, you really need a bearing bearing change of at least six degrees. Okay, so so we're gonna use we're gonna time the bearing change over six degrees. Okay, so the first one, uh, what I and there's different ways to go about doing it as far as which bearing you take the range at, which the angle on bow. For this particular one, I'll demonstrate uh, taking the angle on bow at the first bearing and noting it. Okay, makes things a little easier with using the disc. So. Um, so when he hits 30 degrees, okay, we're gonna take, we would, we will have computed his angle on bow already, all right, and we will, um, uh, we will start the timer. So 30 degrees, is a good round number to use, okay. So start the timer now, all right, and now at that bearing right there, the target is, um, is 91 degrees has an angle on bow of 91 degrees, okay? So the calculation of, for the first part is just this. We assume that the bearing doesn't change. So we say, um, oops, at that bearing, which is 30 degrees, okay? And first of all, let me set let me set it to, to like six or, or seven here, just so we get it ready. Or even even longer than that, Even you can even do 10 degrees. Um, so at, at 30, so I want to take, again, my own speed divided by the sine of the angle on bow, which I need to get, I didn't get the own speed yet, I need to get that really quickly here. Own speed is 5.6 knots, okay? So I take 5.6 knots, and I said um, that the angle on bow was uh, 91 at that point, okay? So that's, that's the equivalent of 89, all right? So 5.6 just make sure I don't blow by the, uh, the second um, bearing here. Bear with me here. Okay, so we're still in good shape. So, um, so own speed of 5.6, align that with the angle on bow of 89. 91 is the equivalent of 89, the law of sines, okay? Um, 5.6 is right about here, okay? Right about there, all right? And then at the, at the at the bearing, I read off the speed, and that is the speed as if the bearing weren't changing. So at 30, the speed would be just a hair over 2.8 knots. That is if the speed, if the bearing weren't changing. Well, we know the bearing is changing, okay? And so um, we need to, since the bearing is, since the target is moving forward, we need to add this correction. Now, the, here is 20. Okay, this will be a 10 degree bearing change. We stop the time there and we note the range. At this point, we'll measure the range in the scope, but just for purposes of uh, doing this, we'll just read it off here. Let's say it was about 1400, okay? So 1400, I need to start jotting some stuff down here. 2.8 was our uncorrected speed. 1400, the range at the second bearing, okay? The bearing change was 10 degrees. Those things I note down, okay? So now we do. Now we crunch the numbers, uh, and I'll, I'll crunch the numbers first, and then I'll go over the calculation second. So, um, so the first step, uh, we've got that un that 2.8 uncorrected speed. Okay, we need we know we need to add the correction because the target was moving forward. The bearing was the target looked like it appeared to be moving forward and not backwards in the scope. Okay, so uh, the first step that we do, I guess I'll I'll lay the formula out now. Okay, so formula now is range it's range 
over the time, okay, times sine of the varying change divided by the sine of the angle on bow again, okay? So the range over time times the sine of the bearing change again. So similar fu similar f format here. We take the range. We start with the division. Range over the angle on bow. The angle on bow. We use the original one of 91 or 89. Okay. So 1400. We know it's the range. So we take 1400. We can use this outer one here. Um, and it's practically 90. Okay. So 1400. And then we do the multiplication, which is, and, but to do this multiplication, we need to note the time, which is two point, uh, two minutes and six seconds. Okay, we align the time to do this multiplication. So here's ten seconds right here, six seconds about right here. We align the time with the bearing change of ten. Okay, which is here, there, and we, and we read the correction off at the at the rate at, or at the reference line excuse me so let's just round up to 3.8 okay so 3.8 our original was 2.8 our correction was 3.8 3.8 uh 2.8 3.8 plus 2.8 do that in your head is 6.6 .6. well the target speed on the map is 6.5 so that's pretty pretty close okay so that's pretty close so that's how you do that just to recap you take you, you do the you do the uh, the calculation as if the the bearing isn't changing. Holy moly, we're going all all kinds of crazy again here. Sorry for this, folks, but I'm not going to make the video. We're we're so far along now that we're going to just have to deal with the uh, with the uh, club conning tower here with the flashing lights. So, um, so the first part is just like the constant bearing. You take own speed times the sine of the bearing over sine of the angle on bow as if the bearing wasn't changing and then you you have to apply a correction you add the correction if the target used to be moving forward like this or you subtract you subtract it if it's moving if you're gaining on the target okay and then the correction is range over time over the time which you know you don't have to worry about the over the time part you just measure the range second bearing okay uh, and then you align that with the ang the original angle on bow okay and then read off the set this the, the uh, well, now we're losing all kinds of stuff here. Um, uh, you set the, you read off the, um, you align the time, okay, with the, um, uh, you align the time with the bearing change, which is 10. I mean, you can you can just preset the bearing change in terms of, you know, you just time and say, okay, I want the bearing change to be 10 degrees, and just time it over 10 degrees like we did, from 20 to 30, 20 to, from 30 degrees to 20 degrees relative. So you line that with there, and then you read off the correction at the reference line. So then you've got the original of 2.8 that we measured, plus the correction of 3.8, so it gives you 6.6, .6, which is pretty close to 6.5. Okay, so that's that method. That's that method there. All right. So then, um, so next on the list is um, uh, next on the list is nothing. That is the end of this video. In fact, that's all I wanted to cover on this one. So, so you've got Fixed wire, simple division, okay, length over seconds, and then reference line is the speed. You've got speed from constant bearing, which is own speed, um, lining up with the angle on bow, okay, right there, 7.2, I think we said, was 5.6, I think it was, we said it was 5.6, uh, and then the, the, the constant bearing, you read the speed off at the constant bearing. Okay, whatever that was, I can't quite remember what it was. Um, but anyway, that uh, so let's just say that here you go, 5.6, and let's say the bearing was, or the angle about was 90, 5.6. Okay, angle about was 90, uh, and then the bearing, the constant bearing was 65. Okay, then the speed is 5.1. All right, and then the the final method that's uh, that's sort of piggybacking on that one is the change in bearing. So with with this disc, you can you can time it however long you want, but you just need to make sure you time it long enough to get at least a six degree bearing change. In our case, we did 10 degrees. The calculation is very similar, except you you have an additional addendum that you have to uh, you have to compute a correction. And all of this takes a 
literally seconds to do once you get good at it. Um, it's like, okay, all right, so, you know, you, and you can even preset while you're waiting on the time to change. You say, okay, here was the first bearing, uh, it was a 5.6, the angle about was 90, um, let's just say, and set that, and then I knew the bearing, the first bearing was 65, so, okay, you've got that 5.1, jot it down, you're done with that part. Wait, 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 wait until the bearing changes however long you want it to change. Note the time, say 10 degrees, and then say, and then take a range. In our case, we took a range of 1400, so then we have to take 1400 uh, and align it with the angle on bow of, in our case, was 89 or 91, which is equivalent of 89, sign, purposes of the sign. Okay? And then um, take the time it took after to change by your 10 degrees or whatever, which is two minutes and six seconds. And I align that then with the bearing change. And I get my correction. And I add that to my original speed if, in the case of the uh, bearing change that's going forward. Okay? So that is that method. So that covers that. So stay tuned for, for the next installment.